Personal paradise. <clears throat> My personal paradise is probably a place that has mountains. I absolutely love the mountains. The bigger, the better. A couple places I've visited uh, with gorgeous mountains are Mount McKinley in Alaska. Um, I'm trying to think, the Blue Ridge Mountains. We, my family has a couple cabins up there, which aren't as big, but still beautiful. And I also love lakes, so that's the second category, which is why our cabin up in Blue Ridge is so awesome, because we have a lake and we have mountains. So it's kind of the best of both worlds for me. So the second part of, of why this is, I know this is my personal paradise is because in about three months, I'm gonna share this personal paradise with my best friend in the back of the room, who is my current fiance. We are taking our honeymoon to Jackson Hole, Wyoming. And in Jackson Hole, for those of you who haven't been, is an unbelievably gorgeous place. The Teton National Park is there. Yellowstone is about an hour north. Uh, the mountains are enormous, and there's also no foothills. So they go straight down into the lake, into the land, wherever you're at. So this personal paradise, as I will uh, call it from, from then on, uh, is, it also has the national park next to it, so there's tons of wildlife. And there's, you know, there's buffalo, there's, uh, I don't know, uh, that's all I know. Uh, maybe bears, too, so hopefully we'll get to see some of those. So lake, uh, mountains, and animals. Can't beat it. That's my personal paradise, and I'm looking forward to spending it with her. Oh. <laughs> all right, John, you only had two us. Both were in the beginning. Mm -hmm. Okay. Time was a minute 30. <laughs> Obviously, uh, volume was, uh, I guess since most of the audience is in the first three rows, were suitable. I do think you could have projected a little bit more for me back here, okay. but I, I, I could hear you, I would say. Mm -hmm. And your body movement was pretty <laughs> solid, I would say. You mostly stayed within like one meter left, one meter right. Okay. Uh, but I would say, you know, at least you moved around. <laughs> yeah. It said so the strength was your tone. It was very suitable to it, like you're telling a story. Mm -hmm. So that was very, very appropriate for the material. Awesome eye contact. Awesome eye contact. Yeah, yeah. across the room. Definitely. One thing that John did that it's a bit more about substance than style, but it's worth noting, is to establish a rapport with your audience, especially in a casual setting like this, is to use your diction, your word choice, to be more casual. So instead of saying wherever you are, he says wherever you're at. That casual word choice makes it feel like we're at wherever he is. And it's a bit more casual, so it's something you, you may consider. Exactly. I, I think another strength you did also is your enunciation was good, your, your speed of delivery is good as well. So that's all very, very good, and it goes into that diction as well, where what you're saying matches how you're saying it. Um, this is being really picky, but uh, one thing that I noticed is you used your left hand a lot, like you were spinning. Maybe okay. it's because you have a jammed finger in your right. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, you're doing this a lot with your, your spinning. Okay. So that's something I didn't notice. Cool. That's good to know. Your facial expression is really interesting. You didn't necessarily do, you know, all seven of those facial expressions we talked about, but the best word I can use to describe it is just really sincere. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You just came across and matched your tone. Your, you know, your eyebrows went. Your incredible eye contact all contributes to that. So cool. that sincerity is awesome. Cool. That's good. Thank you. Thanks.